our group is Team 5, and we were given the task of designing a car following a cost leader strategy. And for the name, we decided to go with Clazer because it sounds pretty cool and because it's associated, or at least I associate with a blazer, and most people think the blazer is being something pretty nice and fashionable. And the car design that we went with was a three-wheel car. And as you can see from the first one, it has a rear wheel or a single rear wheel design to it. And then here's a second concept design of it. It looks pretty cool. And you can tell by it, it looks it's pretty strong. It doesn't look like it would be cheap, as most people would probably associate as being. And then so for some of the designs, we decided to give it a retractable sail. The retractable sail would be an optional feature. But some people would probably like this, especially because it would save them on some gasoline, especially if they're going downhill or if they are being propelled by, or they're going downhill anywhere. And so the retractable cell could be optional. You can raise it up. It obviously wouldn't be this big. It'd probably be given a much more nicer design than this, but it's just for, it's just an idea that we're putting out there for our customers. And another feature we'd like to implement with our cars would be the passenger pedal. So if the passenger feels like they want to contribute to the power of the car, they'd, probably, they'd be able to do it with our passenger pedal. We'd, in, we'd uh, incorporate some type of design into the car itself that the passenger pedal would be able to conduct power with it or some form of electricity that would be built within our engine. And then for the frame, we decided to go with a strong plastic body. We decided to go with a plastic body because materials like metal would be much more costly. And for a car like this, you know, we're trying to make it as cheap as possible. We try to get them a, a strong plastic body. Again, note that because the car is $2,499, people are still going to get a great value for the car because this plastic is going to be much more different than what's out there on the market or what most other cars are useful right now. It'd be the equivalent of what something like Honda, the manuf car manufacturer Honda, would have on their Civic body or on the Civic cars. And then for fuel, we decided to go with algae based. Right now, it's one of the best or what's becoming or it's going to be one of the best fuels as people think it is. It leaves no carbon footprint and it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty abundant. You can create a lot of it if you wanted to by extracting the oil from algae. And then for our engine, we decided to go for a engine that sits in the front of the car and not in the back, so that way they can be given some trunk space. The engine would be placed on the front of the vehicle, such as it's shown here. And we decided again to probably incorporate some form of electricity, but we're not too sure of it yet within the engine itself. And then our price for $2,499 was decided upon the fact that some of the cars are out there right now uh, used go for at least $3,000 or $3,500, but these are Fiat cars or the car manufacturer Fiat themselves. But we decided to go for a $2,499 price because we're offering people the best price. We're offering them the best car at that price, and they'll also be getting a little bit extra based on the features we're giving them. And so that concludes our presentation. Thanks.